my name is Carrie Mulburn with Backshed Treasures. I was asked by somebody at your church to do a class on beginning gardening. This is Gardening 101, and I'm going to show you how to prep your garden and plant some of the things you can plant in early spring. Um, I live in North Dakota here. It is still cold out, so you can't plant a lot of regular plants into the ground yet. We usually can't do that until like May. Um, so what I'm going to show you is just stuff you can do right now. Uh, we'll open with prayer really quick. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, the beauty of the being outside, Lord. It's just absolutely gorgeous out today. So we just ask that you continue to be with us, Lord, and just uh, guide us through these times that we are in, Lord. And we just ask that you be with our president and our vice president, our world leaders, Lord. We just ask that you continue to watch over our governors, our mayors, um, those in authority over us, Lord. We also ask that you please keep those on the front lines, safe, our nurses, our doctors, um, firemen, policemen, paramedics, those who are putting themselves in a uh, dangerous way to save lives. Um, we also want to thank the people who are staying open, our grocery stores, drug stores, and some of the home improvement stores, Lord, so that um, we can get the materials we need if something would go wrong. So we just ask that you continue to, play, uh, to protect all of them and just uh, guide them in the way they need to go, Lord. And we just pray this in your son, Jesus Christ, most holy and precious name. Amen. Okay, for this, I have my scavenger hunt list. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it really good. You might want to pause it, blow it up, find it, but I can read it. Um, you're going to need some seeds to plant. Things that I can plant outside here are like peas, beets, carrots, lettuce, um, some beans you can do. You're going to need... Um, dirt or a dirt area. I have a raised bed garden so mine is uh, already here with the dirt. I'm going to just add some more dirt to enhance it. If you don't have a big garden like this, some pots um, or a garden spot, you will need a small shovel because we're going to take and work up the dirt. And uh, I've got a watering can. <laughs> And, oh, it's over there. I have a watering can. I will water these afterward. Um, anyways, and then uh, your seeds. Whatever seeds you decide. I have a whole bunch of seeds in here. Um, also, a little tip when you're planting your seeds so you know what's in your rows. I always seem to have extra knives when I get the sets. They make really good row markers. Um, you just take a Sharpie. Right, whatever's in the row on there, and then plop it in the soil. So we'll do that later. Okay, first of all, oh, also we have our bed verse. It's one of my favorites. I like this one. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope in a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me, and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And that's found in Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. Again, one of my favorite ones, actually, that's what's on my bracelet. So, put that back in here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the excess leaves, especially seeds from the trees, um, out of my garden. Because I don't want baby trees in here. So I'm going to take and clean off some of the dirt and some of the stuff that didn't get cleaned out last year. You can keep some of this, the leaves and seeds in there because it's not going to not gonna hurt. It'll, it'll go into your soil and actually it'll help your soil. But you want to take out some of them. You don't want, especially like I said, the ones with the seeds in them, you don't want tree seeds in your garden. Um, whether it's maple, we have a lot of elm around here, so I don't want elm trees popping up because they pop up real easily.
like you got some extra chunks of roots or stuff. You can get those out. And I'm just kind of raking it through with my fingers just to get chunks and stuff out of here. Okay, I'll put this over here. If your dirt is really hard, say you are in the ground, like the actual ground level, where your dirt is a little bit harder, the spade, if you take and you push it in really hard, and you're going to want to do that in here too, just to break up some of the big chunks that have formed in here from it being compact all winter. This is going to help get air to the roots, especially like with your carrots and your root thing and your root vegetables like carrots and beets and stuff like that. They got to have room to go down. break that up then I'm going to take and open up some new soil just to kind of refresh the soil in here just move it all out. I have um, a box cutter this works really good and I did get specific garden soil for vegetables and uh, herbs so it is a certain kind of soil it has a little bit different uh, fertilizer and stuff like that. But you don't have to have any certain brand it just it'll stay vegetables and herbs garden soil vegetables and herbs that's what I'm using and then you're just gonna push it out and spread it all over like a kid at heart I like playing in the dirt. All right. Try to get it nice and level because I have a bigger area here I'm also going to do another bag. sunshine. All right. Yeah, this is still a little bit frozen. Again, our temps here have been in the 20s overnight, so some of the stuff is still hard. Break up what you can. This is a big enough garden. I'm just going to throw my chunks to where they can get in the sun. Now that I have this kind of flattened out and ready to go, I'm going to get some of my seeds. I'm going to take my peas and plant them closest to this so they have something to climb on. I'm also going to get some string and tie some string across there so they can go up. So I'll get my peas out. These are just regular peas. I also have some uh, snap peas. You can also use those. And you're just going to take and plant probably about an inch or so. You can always thin them out later. Just make a little hole and cover them with about a half inch of soil. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit to do the row. You can take and put them all in first and then cover them up too. 
You don't have to cover your spill. You can just make a huge row of them. Peas like it cool, so it's best to plant them in early, early in the season. They like it. They don't like the heat of the summer. So if your summers get hot, you definitely want to do them early. So I'm just covering those up. And go on to the next spot. Last year I had really good peas. They were really tasty. Um, I made pea salads and stuff out of them, so they were really good. And it's kind of fun growing your own vegetables. You don't have to worry about the grocery stores and chemicals. You know where they came from, which is kind of nice. I'm going to grab a few more here and finish up my row. And again, like I said, I'm just eyeballing it, putting it an inch every inch, inch and a half. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to keep them in a row so I know what they are. He's done. And I have already taken one of my little kni knives and put peas on it. And I'm just going to stick that over here so I know that my row of peas is across there. Um, the next one I'm going to do is carrots. I kind of cheat with these. <laughs> You can just put carrots in in a single row. Um, I found that sometimes they wind around each other's roots. So I have been going to using seed tape. And what it is, I don't know if you can see, there's little seeds stuck in there. They're all nice and perfectly spaced. You basically unwind it. And you are going to just lay it in the soil. And you're going to want to go a little bit away from there. So I go about six inches away from my peas. Peas don't need a ton of room. And even the carrots, they're kind of small. And then again, just for a light covering of right over the top. You just basically want to cover the, the tape. It's just a small layer of neighbors out too. Good day for gardening. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. It almost goes right to where my peas end. So then I'm going to cover again with just a little bit of soil, kind of laid in flat. Cover with the soil so it's flat. And like I said, cover this with about a quarter inch. Just enough to cover it. I'm going to get my carrots out. This one I'm going to actually put at the other end. Okay. These were regular orange carrots. I also have if I can find them in here. I have lots of different seeds. I also have rainbow carrots. These are fun because they're all different colors. Um, it's fun pulling a red carrot and a purple carrot and a white carrot out of the garden. And they're really good. They have a really sweet flavor. So you can take and tear these and do this. The nice thing about carrots and stuff too, you can a couple weeks later take and plant another row so you have them later in the season. Even like up to like a month later. Plant a second row and then you will have them later in the season. So you'll have like one you'll get in midsummer, and then you can get another one uh, by the fall. So they're kind of nice. And the nice thing about root vegetables is that the frost isn't as hard on them um, because they're underground. And the soil stays warmer 
And again, going about six inches. all my straight rows. Sometimes they're not so straight, but that's okay. I know where they're at. Alright, back over here. That's about straight. Okay. And then again, get your swale about a quarter inch over the top. Hold it in place. Trying to keep it straight as I can. Okay, those are the rainbow carrots. I did not make one for those, so I'll show you what I do with this. You're not going to use the actual knife side. You're going to use the top thing, and I'm going to just put R and then carrots. Then I know they're rainbow. Just had to show you. And then I'm going to go stick that in that row. Seed tapes are, they come in a bunch of different types too. Um, you can get lettuces. This one too, I looked on here, April through July for my area. I'm up in here. So I'm gonna put some lettuce in. And this is kind of a mixture of different types of lettuces. Start at the one end. And going about six inches away. These are smaller type ones. You don't have to put as much in between. When you start planting your bigger stuff, your tomatoes, your peppers and all that kind of stuff, they need more room. So you need to space them out a little bit further. But for these type of things where it's underground in the roots, they don't need a lot. And lettuce, which comes up on top but is very thin, doesn't need a lot of room. And again, just about a quarter inch. Cover up the tape. And I'm going to put this one on this side so I know where my rows are going up to. So when I plant my other plants come May, June, when I plant my other plants in here, I know where my rows end. So you kind of want to keep it on both sides. I know I have two carrot. I now have a lettuce over here. Um, another one that you can take and plant cheating. I got a lot of seed tapes, I guess, or radishes. Um, radishes are a good one for spring, summer too, and they grow pretty fast. Um, radishes are ready to harvest in 22 days. So you can put a couple rows of these down, put it toward maybe put toward the end so you can keep putting rows in. Um, depends upon if you like radishes or not. My husband likes them, so I'm going to put a row of those in. Then I'm going to put them toward the edge because then I can put a second row in. And these are thick. Okay, 
I just cover them up. Try to keep them straight against the side, not too curvy. just did. If you do, just cover it back up. No worries. That's the great thing about seed tape. You can just cover it back up. All right. And just try to keep it flat. Covered and flat. I think I do. I have one for that one. So my radishes are over here. So this is kind of how you started out. I would go and water these. Just put a light thing of water on them, um, just to set it in place. My watering can's way over there, but I will. Come back and do that. And I guess we'll just, we'll end in prayer here. This is kind of gardening 101. Again, um, if you're gonna plant plants, you're gonna have to wait till most places later in the season. Uh, again, I'm in North Dakota. We don't plant anything usually before May 15th because we have a chance of getting snow up to then. Uh, again, not sure where you're at, what they have for weather there. Um, but we're gonna close in prayer. Um, Lord, we just ask that you be with these kids, Lord, um, as they are having fun with their virtual spring camp. We just ask that you uh, help them to learn new things and to try new things out, Lord. And we just ask that you keep their families safe and just help them to um, enjoy each other during this time. Help them to get to know each other better. Um, we just ask that you protect them from this virus and calm their anxious nerves, Lord. And we just ask that you uh, continue to guide them in the way you want them to go. And we just pray this in your name. Amen.